Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another CSS battle video. In this one, someone requested in my comments if I could do number 44. So let's try to find where 44 is. I think it's this one. So let's just go ahead and get started with this one. Let's just make the background color um, this. Someone asked me where the background pixels are. It's like, it's underneath this down here. See that? You can click these and it selects it to your clipboard and you paste it in. All right, so I think what this is is basically it's five lines with two circles so i'm going to try to draw the five lines first um so i'm just going to go ahead and make a class called line one i guess and we could just start dialing that so the height of these things look like what 20 maybe and the width could be something big it doesn't really matter uh, but we probably want to center it in the page and then move it down some. So I'm going to do like I do in all the other videos. So you display flex, justify content, center, align items, center. All right, so that will position it in the center of the page. Don't want to save that. And then what we also probably want to do is give it a position of absolute because we're going to be doing this to like a lot of these things. Okay. So let's change the background color of this to that color that we saw. And we see that we are basically spot on. Except for, we could probably do a width of like 200. All right, that should be good. So now we need four other lines. So I'm just gonna add, whoa, I don't want that. So let's just add a couple more lines. So I'll do line two. And I will go ahead and paste that in and give it a position top of maybe, I don't know, negative 20 pixels. And see if that takes it anywhere. No. Oh, maybe I need to give it like a hundred. That actually lined up perfectly. So let's do it again with line three. And copy this. And we could just simply give it a top of 80, 60. That looks good. It looks like they're spaced out like 20 or 40 pixels between each one, or 20 pixels or something. So I think we're in a good spot right now. Let's just add the other two lines. So line four and line five. And you could do something, if I wanted to clean this up, I probably should just so people don't complain about my styling. I could make another class called line, which will just have this stuff. And I could just add that class to all these. So I'm gonna add line to all these, like so. I uh, can't type right now. Let's add that in. And now we don't have to actually duplicate this logic and all the files. All I need to do is set a top. All right, so that'll probably make some people happy who watch this stream and want to see more minified code. All right, let's just do a top of 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. All right, there we go. We got line four set up and then line five should just be maybe 220. All right, so we have all the lines, and now if you look here, it looks like we just need to add two circles on the left and the right. So let's try to add a circle. So I'll say div class circle left. All right, let's go down here and style that. I'll just style it up here, it doesn't really matter. So I'll say circle left is a class that we're gonna give a style of, we'll give it this background color. So background of that width of, this looks like a big circle. I'm gonna say 400 in height of 400 pixels. I'm kind of just guessing, but it, this is what it kind of looks like. And then border radius of 50%, that'll make it round. Uh, position of absolute, so it doesn't script the page. And now we could probably position it to the left some. So let's try negative 200 and see what it looks like. So that's not far enough over. That's still, ours is still too much, too over. Let's try 250, 260. All right, 250 is close, but it's not perfect. And I think our circle, their circle is, is wider. So maybe we should try width and height of 450 and then keep moving over some until we get it right. You know what, that one actually looks pretty good. I don't think it's perfect, but it looks pretty close to it. 
gonna take my chances. I'm gonna smith with this and see. You know, I might add like five pixels to the height and see if that helps. That actually made it worse, so I'll remove five pixels. I think that actually made it work. Okay, so it took me a while to figure this out. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna cut out all the stuff beforehand and show you the end results. With the 400, height of 345 and 50% left that. I think this will work. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the circle right. And I'm just gonna change the right to something else. So let's try 50, let's try 150. Oh wait, circle right. Make sure I rename that correctly. And of course, let's just go ahead and try to make this a little bit cleaner in terms of styling. So for the circle, I'm gonna pull out the duplicated logic, which would basically everything be everything but the left position. So let's just do this. All right, I think that looks good. I hope I get 100%. Someone said it's really hard to get 100% on this one. So let's just submit it and see what happens. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how you get 100% with this one. I guess you just keep on trying with different values. Well, if you figure out how to get this 100%, let me know, because I don't know. So sorry for whoever asked that question. But yeah, hope you like this video. Happy coding, y'all. See ya.